nerds? Today we're going to be opening some Magic the Gathering Caldime. Caldime packs. Yeah. Now these things are hot. hot. I don't know if they're hot, but they're nice. Yeah. I don't know if they're nice, but they look cool. So we're going to open them. Yeah. What are we looking for? So we're looking for Vornclex, which is a Phyrexian. We're looking for the the pro, the uh, Phyrexian symboled <laughs> foil Vornclex. So okay. instead of using English on the card, they use Phyrexian alphabet, and it's really Makes silly. Makes perfect sense. It's worth a lot of money. It's pretty dumb. Um, we also got the set boosters instead of the normal boosters. If you guys know, those those contain what's known as cards from the list, which are cards all throughout Magic history that are worth. Some worth a lot of money, some worth no money. Uh, we have two boxes in total open, and we're going to get through those. Yeah. Um, anybody who knows... I got to pick my card. Pick the one? The one. Yeah, we'll just stack these out here. And we'll just, yeah, you get a little bit... Getting a tingly feeling from this one. Yeah. The last time it worked. I mean, I, I felt it last time. All right. Tingly feeling. That's my tingly feeling. Okay, so... Got these Caldon. Magic's pretty straightforward. Are there any uh, tricks? Card tricks? Uh, they have an a art card on it. If it has gold signed, it was signed by the artist. It's worth a little bit more. Huh. Um, the one thing, one reason why, if you're going to buy a set of Magic cards, if you're going to buy a set of Magic cards, you might as well buy Caldine, um, because the basic lands are snow lands, and those are going to retain value forever. So there's a bunch of cards. I'm um, looking through it. The rarity symbols. So this we hit. Resplendent Marshall. Uh, How am I looking this up? Go scroll down. Uh, it is number 22. So what's the three? It's three of three? Like uh, what does that mean? There, that's how many total there are. So there's only three of those cards ever made? No. Uh, it doesn't. You could just look up Resplendent Marshall. Um, scroll up. Well, there it is. It's right there. It's right there. Right there. Resplendent Marshall, number 22. Oh, 22. So that's a, and it's a mythic. So what you're looking for in magic cards are these symbols. So mythic, rare. Uh, mythic is orange. Rare is gold. Uncommon is uh, silver. And then these are the cards that we look in the back. So it either has one of these, a token, or it has a card from the set. What was that shiny one? Is that not anything? That's just a foil. Every pack comes with a foil card. But so they nothing? Yeah, this one's nothing. There might be foil cards that are worth something. And we'll, I'll hopefully be able to let you know. This pack feels heavy. Heavy pack. Yeah, but it doesn't have anything from the list. So when we open this up and we see that it's got this dwarf on the back, that isn't what we want. That art card. Foil, snow-covered mountain to start off with. Gas. Snow-covered lands are worth a dollar all the time. Always a dollar. Just a dollar? Well, there some of them are worth more. That'll be worth more than another because it's a snow land, but they're worth at least a dollar. Forty-five cents. It'll go up. Don't worry. <laughs> Pyre of Heroes, Dark Shell Berserker. So this is a good, not a bad card. Two forty-one. 91 cents, but selling on market for dollar twenty. Oh, so, like I said, if you see this, this means we've got a card from the list in this pack. So this card could be anything um, that is on a predetermined list of really fancy cards. And I'll let you know. So, so that's remember, what I, yeah, and that's, and that's signed. Yeah, and this is a signed art card. So that's what you want to be looking for, these. Um, I think it'd be really cool for me to try to gather up all these art cards because I'm going to have enough packs to open where I'll get some and maybe put them in a frame, like a mural of them. Oh, that'd be cool. <clears throat> so again, the forest, giant ox. Left there you go. Um, this is one of the cards I was most excited for. So I play Magic. I like to play it. We play Commander. Uh, this card has, whenever this creature Planeswalker and opponent controls dealt excess damage... I get to draw cards. So it's like trample for spells. It's really silly. The Drugger Necromancer. So we got one rare. We got a second rare, an Icebreaker Kraken. And then we got Ancient Craving as our card from list. Draw three cards, lose three life. So we're going to put these over here regardless because they're old cards and some will be worth money. 
Oh, so their backs look different? or No, they, they just so... And here, I'll show you when we open this one. Oh, well, we got another one. I'll show you in the next pack, I guess. <laughs> um, so you can tell as soon as you open the pack if this card is a token. And the tokens look like this. Hold on, let me grab one from over here. Just so you can... So if you open it, it looks like this. Mm-hmm. That means you've got just a normal pack with no cards from the list. But if you open it, it's a card back here, something from the list. And what is the list? All right. So that's, again, what we're talking about. It's a um, predetermined list of cards that are throughout Magic history that could be really expensive or not as much expensive. Like this one wasn't very expensive. And I put this over here. The one that we got wasn't very expensive, but it's still an old card. Okay. It's cards that they haven't printed in a while. They're back. Um, we're checking it out. Makes sense. Renegade River. Oh, mama. So, uh, look at how much the booning, burning rune demon is. What's number? It is 81 of 285. 293. 293. Uh, this is a alt art card. Pilfering Heart. And then Vanguard of Bramaz is our card. This isn't a good one. I have a bunch of these because I was playing when this set came out. Theros. Neat. I would, I mean, I wouldn't complain if I just kept opening cards from the list. Like this one, see how we know this one doesn't have that in there. Okay. Makes sense. Ooh, there's a boat. The boat. Snow cover swamp. Another Power of Heroes. Uh, Alt Art Nefari, the Betrayer King. And then a foil reckless crew. I don't think that one's worth any money though. But it's still a foil and it's a rare. Right, we'll see if we get that. See, the top three most expensive cards in the set are the three different types of board clicks. Okay. So again, another one. Giant Ox, Doomscar, kind of cool card. Uh, another Mythic. So this is Halver, Guard of Battle. He's a flip card. So he's an equipment on one side, he's a sword. On the other side, he's a creature. So you know he's coming. <laughs> so this is the second most expensive Vorinclex. This one is a $38 card. Who are we going to put that in the sleeve if we could? <laughs> There we go. Beautiful. Your light in here sucks. <laughs> it's that bright thing right there, yeah. So Vorclex, Monsters Raider. The reason why this card is so expensive, one, the Praetors are old magic cards. They are very fancy throughout the time. They're really powerful. Two, this card does so much. Like it, oh, word soup is what they call it. <laughs> It just, the card does everything. That one's currently going for $45. Yes, $44, yeah. This one's got $44.89. It's 11 cents. Right? I'll take it, yeah. <laughs> uh, Bloody Massacre. A land, fancy land. And Master Skull. Um, oh, God, I forgot to put this over here. One thing that I always tell people when you're new getting into magic, um, damn it. don't, <laughs> don't, don't, you want to be poor, you will be. What I always tell them is it may not seem exciting to open lands, um, like as your rare card, because you want the powerful planeswalker, the powerful creature, but when you start actually playing magic, you realize lands are what make your deck good. They're what make your deck strong when you can have consistent mana base and fixing. And lands, out of everything, they hold their value. So I know it's a lot easier. Calamity Bearer. Grim Dog. Dogger. 
So I know it's a lot easier to open the really cool cards like that Phyrexian and Vorinclex, which that'll hold its value. But if you just get a booster box and it's full of just fancy lands, you're probably in business. Hmm. I realize this might be a long video. <laughs> Listen, we're going. We're going. <laughs> okay. We can cut up into two. That's true. Yeah, I can do that. Raven's Warning, Pride of the Haunted, another foil rare. Oh, no, that's a foil uncommon, right? That's uncommon. I just feel a little lost because I don't play this, so I'm looking at these cards going, okay, well, that looks rare, and you're like, nah, it's nothing. Nah, it's nothing. Okay. They've done a really good job, and we've got a uh, card from the list. They've done a really good job at making the art for Magic better. My little brother's calling me. He didn't, I don't know what he needs. All right, Invoke the Divine, Battlefield Raptor, Star of Valkyrie. So, Realm Walker, Fearless Pup, and Perteramander. Again, I'm not, hmm. not, not a really fancy card. It's on the list, but it's it's newer than old. Treasure token on the back, so it's nothing. That's the good thing about this. Even if I don't get a card from the list, there's still a chance to open something fire from just the regular set. Fire. Fire. Like this card right here. Look up Tegrid, God of Fright. What's her number? Uh, she is 112 of 285. 112, 112. 112 is uh, 473, 561. Yeah. Put her in a sleeve. Where's where I was sleeves? <laughs> right in the drawer there. Uh, oh, we got another card from the list, everybody. Oh, and a signed, a signed art card. Yeet. Ye ye yeet. Yeet skirt. I had to explain to my older brother what yeet meant the other day. How do you feel about that? He felt old. Blood on the Snow, that's a good card. Uh, Sordalyn Finger, good card. Springjack Shepherd, when it comes into play, put a one goat for each mana symbol in the mana cost of permanence you control. Fancy card. That would be a cool giveaway idea, is like, when we do something like this, we could build a deck. Oh, I'll send you a deck. I can do build that. Build a deck? Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, especially because a lot of these are going to go sit in a box. Look how cool that looks, though, that, yeah. that sign card. Uh, Tundra Fumarul. That's a good card. A Foil Raven's Warning. I'll take that also. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. This is just my Digimon cards. <laughs> it was like the li some little list thing, wasn't it? Yeah, we're moving through these pretty quick because, I mean, most of these are commons and uncommons. Yeah. Battle for Brittigard, Cyclone Summoner, Strategic Bank Planning. That's a good, pretty good card. Um, we might try to start linking uh, price, price things in our video, like where we got the prices from them. Yeah, just in case I don't you know what this site's called. TCG Player. Oh, uh, yeah, TGC. This is the one I always use. It's the one that always pops up first yeah. when you check stuff. Land, uh, Cleaving Reaper. There's this also this really good um, card price website. It's xxx.com <laughs> for extreme, extreme, extreme dot card collecting. <laughs> I can't recommend. <laughs> Does extreme begin with X? Nah, it does now. <laughs> it does now. Um, really, when you a lot of people are opening these boxes, hoping to hit. Um, this is a good card. Gold. A lot of these people are opening boxes, hit, looking to hit like Warren collects everything. Honestly, I'm trying to build my magic collection and then help build my uh, commander decks. That's what I really want to do. I want more stuff to go in my commander decks. And I've got a closet full of magic cards. Yodi, 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 yo. Rise of the Dread March. This, this is a cool card. Mooring of the Frost. He's an all What's the number of that? It is 328.
40 cents, I'll take it. That's not foil though, right? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's just, that's just normal. This is a foil one, so. Should be worth a little bit more. A little more? <laughs> Multitasking. Yeah. <laughs> so, Shepherd of the Cosmos, that's a good card. Immisturum Predator Lit Jara Kinsies. <laughs> the names on these cards that people come up with sometimes. These are all Viking warriors. And they have a whole division at Magic the Gathering to make oh yes, foil land, let's go. Here a judge of valor. Nice. Ascent of the worthy. Great hall Stormhelm. Rampage of the Valkyries. This whole pack, ooh, Magda. This whole pack was pretty much uncommons and layers. So value wise, um, it cost I think the uh, the set boosters cost like a dollar more. No, oh, I need to keep spirit tokens. Put aside, because I need them. <laughs> Another foil land. Set boosters cost like a dollar more, but you have so much more of a chance to hit on them. Quakebringer, Vega the Watcher. So that was a mythic. Is that a word? Uh, Quake an expensive bringer. one? Uh, I don't think it's going to be too expensive, but it is a fun card. It's the second one that I've opened, though. I opened a little bit of these. Oh, we got something from the list. Let's go. Yeah. Alpine Meadow, Draga Recruiter, yada, 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 yada. Uh, Foil Cos Coma the Cosmos Serpent. I'll take that. Grave Recluse. And then Angrath, Champion of Chaos. He's, an, he's not too old of a card either. Um, he's on the list, though. I already have a couple of him in a box. Another one from the set. Um, Magic recently, if you play Magic, you realize that blue and green have been getting a lot of special treatment. Um, Sigrid, the God Favored. Dope. Seven Elementalist. Dope. Avon Rift Watcher. Yep. That's cool. We haven't really hit from the list yet. There are some really expensive cards on the list. Yeah. Like skull, lid, skull, uh, skull rack. Maskwood Nexus is a great card. So you set these aside because they're rare, or just yep. because they're going to go get yep. no If they, if I go, uh, if I set them to the side to the right, well, I had one card that I set over here for a deck. It's going in a deck that I have, but mostly these are rare, okay. rare mythic. So I set them because they'll probably go in a binder and sit somewhere until I'm ready to either use them as trade fodder or use them in a deck. Autograph, noise. Rise of the Doomed. Yeah. And some of these, again, these are just going to be penny cards. Uh, problem with, like, open them, so we're opening this now as the set comes out. And the prices are skewed when the set comes out because so many people are buying and opening them. So you don't know what these are going to eventually sit at. And we haven't really gone through a rotation of people using them in tournaments and that's what you really want to look at at magic how good is that card going to be in actual tournaments that's why uh that born collect that we opened he isn't going to be good in tournaments but he is amazing in commander he does everything you want a green card to do i can vouch for that he can vouch for it he's seen it with his own two eyes i was there oh this is an awesome card so Cosma, God of the Voyage. It's a flip card. Flip flip. She does a little bit of everything. I like that. Yeah. 
she, she drives a boat, and then her boat goes into exile, and you get more lands, and then she comes back with her boat. You get to draw a bunch of cards. Interesting. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good uh, setup she has. Doom Scar, good. The new mechanic for this set is called Fortell, and it's really, it's really neat. It's basically a way to keep cards in your hand from getting picked apart by removal. Because you exile it face down, and the person, he has no idea what's under there. The second Quakebringer, well, third total. We have a play set. Let's see. I'll keep Gregor and deals two damage to each opponent. This build triggers only if Quakebringer is on the battlefield or Quakebringer is in your graveyard and you control a giant. Giant. All right. So, another thing from the list. I feel like the. Those guys that when like you go to like a live rap concert that just like says a word every now and then. Yeah, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know nothing of magic, so I'm like, oh mama. So we hit. This is a really nice card from the list. Phyrexian Obliti- B- Obliterator. Whenever a source deals a phy- Phyrexian Obliterator damage, that source controller sacrifices that many permanents. You won't find. I don't know if you'll find him on the list, but he is number one hundred one. Nineteen cents. No, that's not the right. That's not right thing then. It doesn't. I don't think it has the uh, list up. Maybe scroll up and see if you can. What's pull his up. name? Phyrexian Obliterator. All right, I'll search for him. You I'll get it. Yeah, maybe if you can see if you can pull up the list instead of Caldine. The list. Uh huh. There it is, right there. The list. See it. The list. Oh, so you get him in that pack, but he's not necessarily in, in that pack. Yeah. One oh one, twenty two dollars. <laughs> Get in the sleeve. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, boy, land. Faceless Haven. This is a really neat card. It be, it's like a land that becomes a creature, which is always good in Magic. Land that becomes a creature. Yeah. Sounds dope. I'm in trouble here. Oh, another card from the list. Let's go. Let's go. What's the most expensive thing I can open on the list? On the list? Yeah, on the list. You would be looking at... A scroll Scroll rack. rack. Food chain. Ren and Six is in here? I didn't know that. A cavern of souls? Oh, I hope I open a Ren and Six. I tell you that. That's a card I've always wanted, never had. Rally in the ranks. Alron's Epiphany. I needed one of these. This is a uh, it's a take an extra turn card. It's really good. Rune Stalactite. I don't think that's what you want. Another spirit. I know you guys notice I'm putting the spirits off to the side. I run a bunch of commander decks that need spirits. L spirit. So just so you know, I've been putting these in the correct order. And I mean, I appreciate throwing that. them on top. Okay, let's talk about this card real quick. Tribal's Trickery. This card is probably going to get banned in almost every format. Um, he does stupid things. It's a counter in red that's random and has a pseudo cascade effect so it does a lot it's really stupid it's probably gonna get banned probably actually i ban it right now people have found ways to use it in modern to bring out like a uh to bring out some of the eldrazi on like turn two i don't know what that means but eldrazi pretty legit eldrazi are pretty scary critters i'll tell you that <laughs> Uh, here, I'll put this over here. I don't want to mess yeah, up don't your be fucking up my shit. Yeah, I don't want to mess up your thing. Corey, God of Kinship. I had a lot more of these to open than I did. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. I was looking at it. I was like, this is going to be a long video. 
It's okay. People like to watch packs get opened. I usually, when I watch, I'll like hit the little ten sec fast forward button yeah. just to get to the certain ports. This one I don't really know because it's the. And I move pretty I don't quick. Understand too. the rares thing. In this yeah, one. no, I get it. Rares are usually at the back of the pack, but these these packs specifically are different because they have a chance to have multiple rares in them. Ah. Oh, come on. Listen, we just want to hit Rim and Six. I'll take a scroll rack also. A uh, Pact of Negation. I would love a Pact of ne Negation. Ugh. God House Guardian, Wings of the Cosmos, Caldor's Port of Karenfeld, Three Seasons. Another Dooms Car. I'll take it. Blizzard Brawl, Stormheim. Ethereum Horn Sorcerer. This isn't an expensive card, but this is a really good card in Commander. So we'll throw it over there. Do it. <sighs> Cosmos Charger. I needed one of those for my Fortel deck. Right, that's about it for that pack. And again, these I can't recommend right now just like investing in these packs. Um, it's usually cheaper in Magic when a set first comes out to buy singles than it is to hmm. buy boxes. Interesting. All right, let's see. Old Growth Troll. Shambling Shell. That's not one you want. It's got dredge, though, but it isn't something good. Right, we've almost. We're getting close. He says close. Oh, hey, foretell token. I'll take that. The good thing is, I'll probably get a large majority of these cards. I'll take that, foil land. We're looking. I need some cards. There's a card called Eskia that I really need. Oh, mama, this is a good card. So look up Mystic Reflection from Caldine. This is a silly card, everybody. This is a silly card. Is it the commander? Uh, just Caldine. What number is it? Uh, it is. And this is a foil one, so it's going to be worth more. Sixty-nine. Four ninety-nine. So uh, click on it. Click on actual Mystic Reflection. Let's see, what is the uh, foil going for? Hmm, a little bit, about the same. 597. We'll take it. Um, what it does is anytime a, so the next time a creature would enter the battlefield this turn, or creatures, they enter as a copy of a creature. So let's say you have 100 spirits coming in the battlefield this turn. They would enter the battlefield as a copy of target creature. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Raven's warning again, another Magda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we've got uh, another card from the list here. Oh, yeah. You guys feel like this is going to be a good one? No. No? All right. That's fair enough. Old growth <laughs> tree. Endling. I don't know how much that's worth. What is it? Uh, this is, it's Endling. From the, the set. The yeah, set. the list. He has a bunch of abilities. What's his number? Uh, he is number 89. Nine ninety five. Oh, I'll take get in the sleeve then. Let's go, buddy. We're in our sleeves. Let me talk about that beautiful bunch more. Right there, bunch. I feel like every time I grab them, there's no more in there. <laughs> this this drawer was a little more organized. Oh wow, okay. I feel attacked. <laughs> hey, this'll what do you roll next? What do you do next? 15. Uh, Fifteen. Let's nice. go. That's not bad. Come on, be, come on, Eskia, then. 
You think asking is worth a 15? Oh, I, I'd assume so. Well, you're right. She's probably worth more. 18. 18. That's, there you go. Yeah. Yeet. Skirt. Drop that. Drop that. Don't you love when you get food from somewhere oh, all yes, the time and then one. you forget what it is? Yes. <laughs> yes. I know what I want. I just can't remember what my wife gets. Uh, she likes really meaty things. <laughs> That's right. And then if she doesn't eat that, just bring it over here. I'll eat it. Okay. All right. Uh, snow covered. Let's go. Ascent of the Worthy, Great Hall. Starheim Unleashed this is another card that I was looking for. It's really good. It's a foretell card. Um, it puts a bunch of angels onto the battlefield. Another Vega. Angels? Yeah. I thought she went right up the road to McDonald's. <laughs> it's literally like two minutes away. <laughs> but uh, I haven't seen her in a year. But on the snow. Cosma, God of the Voyage. So this is that alt art of that really cool card that I got earlier. So that's a good card, too. It's hard to 100% talk about the price because the way Magic's been doing things, they'll port. There's like so many versions of each card now, so it's hard to be like, oh, this is the really expensive one because this. Battle for Battle Guard, a foil growth, growth troll. That's going to be like the. This thing's probably going to be a. Uh, chase card it's three for it's already at better rate it's three green mana for four four and when it dies if it was a creature return to the battlefield as an aura on a forest it gives the forest add force forest and one sacrifice this land create a tap four four green warrior token with trample this is a this is a it's just an easy way to beat control because they literally have to kill it twice. And that's what that's what control magic doesn't do well. It, it likes to trade one for one instead of, or one for many, instead of having to consistently trade its resources on, uh, on the same card. Hey, we've got our God of Fury. This gives your uh, it gives your spells um, trample. This is basically their version of Thor. Dope. The art for this is wild. And it is. Man, we we are chucking along. <laughs> you know? Every time I I open it, and I see I've got a card from the list in there. You know, a little bit of a little bit inside me, kind of like, yeah, <laughs> can we get? Search for glory is a great card. That's probably going to go up. This is a card that's kind of will probably be a staple in your life game decks. Okay. Oh, yes, come on. Card from the list. Ren and six, one time. I just use my hand. <laughs> Ren and six, one time. Oh, full art pathway. Let's look at that. That's pretty nice. Foil Magda. And Loyal Unicorn. It's a commander card, so. Just save it. Just 
I'll do that. Yeah, I didn't know. I usually do with my foil. Facebook. So I was just hoping I can get in and see my previous order, which is the exact same thing I'm trying to do. Another Cosmo Serpent. I'll take it all day. I run amok. So we've got two of those. Just a great card. He pretty much makes a serpent, protects himself. He's absolutely silly. Oh, I wanted one. Another foil old go troll and a alt art freezing flame. The alt art ones are pretty cool looking in this set. All right, we're getting there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. One row left. <laughs> Reflections of Litrajara. Dopus. Yeah. I mean... Go. All right, just a couple left. <laughs> I'm calling the cops. Fail. All right, we got something from the list. Look at this art card. That's pretty dope. Feed the serpent. Ravenous lindworm. Grave pal gym palm polluter. <coughs> yeah, cycling. See how much this guy's worth. He doesn't even have a number. He's on. Oh, he's 70. 93 cents? <coughs> get, in the, get in the trash. <laughs> get in the trash. Uh, just give me. Can you just give me more cards from the list, please? Just all of them. A second Vorinclex, so we've hit again. That was from... Uh, this is just a normal one. That's that same one you pulled last time? Yeah, but it's in a different... It's the uh, just normal. Yeah, there he is. He's the third one. 33. Nice. I'll take it. Yeah, get this thing, bitch. <laughs> You're awfully rude. I'm sorry. Protector. I'll take that. Cal the Forge Master and Arnie slays the troll. Nice. Arnie. Arnie, that's a good guy. Okay. I think you just take him out of the box. Obviously, <laughs> ghost at this point. Now let's just go ahead and put those down. Put that down like that. A good backdrop. There you go. Maybe this will stand up finally. Try not. Alright, so we got this is what we got left. It's been a plus, long journey. Plus, plus this one. We'll open it dead last. If it doesn't have a set card in there, taking all your Pokemon cards. Yeah. Uh, foil. With a crown, Drugger, Buried Axe. Fiora's Retribution, my second Tegrid. And we are gas, boys. Gas, gas, gas. Yeet, skirt. Back that. Drop that. I still haven't ordered a single, uh, a single World Tree or Eskia, which are two of the cards I was really looking for. Toski, that's Ratatasker. Foil Yorn. Yorn. He's a two-sided card. He's really good in snow decks. He untaps all your snow permanents. Oh, the list I see. It's going to be a good one, everybody. I can feel it.
Crippling Fear. Tyrite Sanctum. I'll take as many of these as I can get. Shuriken. I don't know if that one's going to be worth anything. <laughs> it's number uh, 160. Fifty cents. Yeah. I need to calm down. I think my wife's back. No time. She went to McDonald's a year ago. <laughs> all right, so probably everyone getting all those Pokemon cards. Yeah, they probably frisked her outside. What are you doing, ma'am? Colossal Plow, Bergy, God of Storytelling. This is a great card. It um, it's it's a storm enabler, and if any of you play Magic, you understand storm is a silly, silly, silly mechanic. I like storms. You wouldn't if you played against it. <laughs> All right, so second last one, nothing from the list on it. Another mystic reflection again, just gas. Uh, spectral polar bear. All right, <clears throat> my pack. Last pack. Is it going to be something good? Did he get the right feet? Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's just my thing. All right, if this one has Eskia in it, Eskia and something silly from the list. That's what we're talking about. We'll do some kind of giveaway. I don't know what, but we'll do something. We'll build a deck. Oh, yeah, give it send away. it your way. Roots of Wisdom. Dead the Fallen, Reckless Clue, Fang the Fang Bear, Glittering Frost, Parallax Wave. Damn. That's not a bad card, I bet. Go to the list. It's number uh, 17. Five sixty-five. Yeah, I'll take it. Well, we didn't hit necessarily on what we wanted, but it was still a good box. I got two Vorinclexes, a bunch of foil lands. I'll take it. So, I agree. I think it was all right. Yeah. And I had no idea what he's pulling. They're what all ifs. good. But, but make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, check out our other videos, and we'll see you in the next one.